and it is almost always a savings when I go and look on those particular items. The heavier items that aren't huge, usually we can save some money on. I just want to show you a pirate ship is definitely worth checking out. If you don't do it, you need to start doing it. There's the difference right there. Same exact item, same exact specs right there. $23.78. Pirate ship, $19.24. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we're in the Commonwealth cabin today and we did not have a whole lot. We had a bunch of sales, but we didn't have any high priced items today. Seems like lately we've been having a bunch of sales every single day and we still have today. But then there's that one item or maybe sometimes two items that are like really good profit, really high priced items. I think we had a $129 one yesterday and then we also had a $99 one. But other than that, there are some really, really low priced items here. I think the highest priced item we sell, sold today was $25 plus shipping, but we did have two Christmas items go out. And this should give us a chance today to talk about one thing really quickly, which is pirate ship. Sometimes when I have all these things that I have to get through and ship, I don't want to go over to pirate ship, constantly click back and forth, but it is really so easy. So I decided to every once in a while an items like, yeah, that's a pirate ship item. And I go over to pirate ship and I check it out. And it is almost always a savings when I go and look on those particular items. The heavier items that aren't huge, usually we can save some money on. And there was two items yesterday, and I wanted to show you just a little clip today about that. But I did it on two items, and I think between those two items, I saved $13 in shipping. Now, it's not always going to work out like that, and Pirate Ship is not always the right option, but sometimes it is, and I want to encourage a lot of you out there who have not tried it yet, to go over there and try it. It's well worth your time. It will save you money over time. Plus, I love it because I ship stuff off all the time through it, not through eBay. I ship stuff off to my family. I ship stuff off to friends, and it's going to be a better rate than going to the post office. Speaking of, somebody sent us something in the P.O. box, and I see a lot of people going to the post office to do that as well. And you could get a little bit better rate if you went through Pirate Ship. Now, I'm not saying that that's what this one is today, but just in general, I think it's a good idea for a lot. If you're a reseller who's dedicated to it, I think you should probably look into Pirate Ship. There are a few other options out there, and some of you already do that, so maybe that'll work out just fine, I'm sure. At any rate, two Christmas items sold today, which I think is a little odd. And some neat little things that have been hanging around the store for a while, and I'm glad they sold. We had one sale out of the Homeschool Hustler store, and we'll get Reagan or Turner in here to take a look at that. So let's take a look at what's sold. All right, I'm going to grab this camera for just a second because you never get to see this direction. So here's where I store my Grateful Dead. There's some Dave Matthews here too, but here's where I store my Grateful Dead. Twisted Radio Waves, Jerry Garcia, not really Grateful Dead. But I wanted to show you that real quick. Reagan is making these. I'm not quite sure why, to be honest with you, but she's made, been making these lately. I think all this stuff came from a viewer who sent her all kinds of crafting things, so she is pretty crafty. All right, this little thing is going out for $6.61. We don't make a ton of money on them, but we literally bought 1,000 of them. Haven't talked about it in a while, so I'm gonna. So if you've been around the show for a while, close your ears for 10 seconds. I bought 1,000 of these at Goodwill for 10 bucks. And we have been selling them off bit by bit by bit. And we are going to eventually make around $3,000. Actually, a little bit more because the first batch we sold, we sold for a lot more than this. So it says 20 available, but I think I have like 500 available still. But we sell them. Viewers buy them. I don't think this was a viewer. Earl, are you a viewer? I don't think so. It says record farm there. So I don't think so. But at any rate, this is cool. I love when I sell these. They are so easy. And they're right around a $3 profit. So I'm happy with it. I sold a TaylorMade Rescue head cover. Now, this thing sold for next to nothing, $8.61, free shipping, and it has a little tag on it, and it's in awful condition. But you know what? It's going to be a $3.50 or so profit on this thing, or maybe a little bit more like 4 I think I'm going to retire the lost and found sheet that I keep on that uh, golf course by after this sale because it looks like there's about 10 to 15 more head covers in there, and that's about it, and none of them are really high priced. So we're just going to assume what we'd make on the rest and give you an update on how much we made on that little sale. All right, so $250 investment. I knew we weren't going to make a ton on it, but it was easy money, and it was sure money. So that's $305 
profit and there's still 15 or so left so let's just say four dollars profit a piece on those and we're making right around 350 bucks on that sale which isn't amazing money but it's easy money and those things don't break hey we're down to one more puzzle left pit panthers is the only one we have left we finally sold off all of these and i think this one went to a viewer so let me read it to you so when I went to Frank, he said, hey, just started watching your YouTube videos and they're great. I saw that you had one of these for sale on your What Sold videos and had to have one for my dad who went to pit. I might also have to get me one of those in a man in the near future. My kids thought they were funny. Thanks for all the great content, Frank. Frank, thanks so much and we appreciate it and we hope your dad enjoys this guy. We're not making much money on these. We bought them at the Goodwill, but we're making just about $4 profit each time we sell one which was not great. I thought we were going to make around $6, but I'm so happy that they are almost gone. One more Pit Panther one left. So thank you so much, Frank. We do appreciate it. All right, let's take just a second here and we'll look at what we got in the mail at the P.O. Box. So this is from Oklahoma. Now, we already have an Oklahoma plate, but we are very happy to have this one. This one's kind of interesting looking there. I like the bird on there. Anyway, there was no message in there, so I turned it over and here's what I got. A little bit of a message here from Billy Williams Tulsa Picker. So that is awesome. And he signed it. So that's a great idea. If y'all, I probably should have done that on these plates. I kind of wish I could have gone back now and on the back written who sent them. I wish we did do that. That would be an interesting way, you know, sometime over the years, maybe, you know, 50 years from now when this place gets torn down, <laughs> we would have an idea who sent these things. So, at any rate, that is awesome. And we appreciate it, Billy. I really do appreciate it. There's the New York one. I think I put one up. I think I put that Kansas one up last night. So at any rate, thank you all so much. We appreciate that. All right, here's an interesting one. We bought these retail arbitrusts. I think they were 75% off, which would put it right around $3.75. But my wife tells me that we might have got these 90% off. I really can't remember. I think what happened is we bought some at 75% off, and then there was a few left that they just totally blew out at 90% off. So who knows, but let's say it's 75% off, 375, so for $21.21. And this is a free shipper. So it will be interesting to see how much money we made on this. This is fairly light, so it will ship out under two pounds. So we're not gonna make a ton of money on these, but we did buy a bunch of them. We sold some last Christmas and we have some left over. I think we still have uh, five or six of these left. So it looks like, yep, we have six of these left. So, but I thought it was interesting that this one sold along with another Christmas item that I'm gonna show you in just a second. I have a Sun's bobblehead. Sometimes when I find things like this, I'll buy a bunch at a certain price. I think we paid $2 for a bunch of bobbleheads. There's just a ton of bobbleheads on somebody's table and they wanted maybe three bucks a piece or something. I said, hey, if I buy them all, will you do two bucks? And we grab them all. And some of them turn out to be not that great. And that was this one. It ended up selling for $7.99 free shipping and more than likely looking at the shipping it's headed back out. <laughs> To Arizona so not a great sale but you know what? even at two bucks even when you find one that's not great you're still making money on this one and some of the other ones went for 12 14 15 I think one went for $25 so in the end you're gonna make more money and just buy a whole bundle even if you don't make a ton on one all right these have been hanging around for a while CD rewriters verbatim and they are brand new in the package but they are loose I think, let's see, $16, let's see where I got it here, $16.41, is that right? Yep, that's right, and it was on sale, 15% promo here, and this went to a viewer, if I have that right, it says, Hi Kevin, a YouTube friend and fellow picker slash reseller here, wanted to show my appreciation for what you do every day on your channel, I enjoy the content and honesty and valuable information you share with the community, but most of all, I enjoy seeing the lessons you teach your kids in doing what's right. He says he loves the cabin or the shed. I call it a cabin most of the time, just out of deference to Lonnie, but <laughs> it is a shed. He says, if possible, would you sign the card or throw in a sticker? So we don't have stickers yet, but we are going to sign a card for you. He says, God bless, Gamma Gone Picking. So that is awesome, and they're headed your way. All right, the next thing we have here is an item that I wasn't planning on listing per se, but we've gotten so low in this death pile, I mean, we are scraping the bottom of the barrel finding stuff to list. So here's an air blown that I had my oldest boy go out and test. It's not in the greatest shape in the world, and 
As a matter of fact, when we tested it, it does hold up, but it doesn't have a whole lot of pressure. So the sign here that they're holding, see the happy holiday sign? That sign right there that that moose is holding flops down. And so I had to disclose that and I'm like, look, there's a few little leaks here and there. If you want to do the work and patch it up, it'll probably be just fine. But know that before you buy it. And then we put a pretty good price on it, $24. And I grabbed this thing, I think for five, which is still okay. We're making money, but not as much as I wanted to. I think I saw some comps out there for around $40. But with that problem in it, I didn't want to list it and say, hey, you know, this thing's great. When in reality, it does need a couple of minor repairs, but everything else on it works. All right. Well, thanks for joining us in here. We're going to head on into the eBay cave for just a second. Then we're going to come out here for another sale from the Homeschool Hustlers. All right. For those of you who don't always like seeing me talk about the uh, comments that people leave on Animan, we only had one Animan sale today. And this is going out, I think, to a viewer. I don't know because there's no message. So, Elizabeth, if you're a viewer... Thanks so much, and he is headed your way. All right, this is the kind of item. I had a few of these type items that it's like, yeah, you know, do I really want to list it? Well, here's a, a T-shirt that sold for 10 bucks, free shipping. But, you know, when you don't pay anything, this came from the Uncle Dave lot. So you got a free item, and you're shipping it out first class for definitely under 8 ounces here. You're looking at, let's just do the math on it. It's free, so you got that part, right? Say $1.50 in fees, and we'll say $3.50 to ship it. It's 5 bucks. You know you're going to end up making a $5 profit on this t-shirt, and it's an easy lister and an easy shipper. All right, this item actually came from the Happy Little Accident. I don't often talk about it. That Happy Little Accident actually should have a little bit more money on it, but I forgot that I had bought a toolbox in that giant lot as well because I kept it for myself. But I did pull a few items out of it to sell. This one is something that really I had to debate. I'm like, am I going to list it? I think it sold for $6.41 if I remember. I, I just pushed that thing up so I don't see it. But let's say it's $6.50. You know, we're going to make about $2.50 to $3 max on this item. But I'm like, you know, what, do I, what am I going to do with it? Am I going to donate it to Goodwill? I didn't have anybody that I thought might like it or need it or use it. It is a wire wheel brush. I suppose I could have kept it. You stick it in a drill and then you use it. I maybe could have used it for getting rust off of things, I suppose. But I ended up listing it and I'll make 250 which is perfectly fine. But we're not going to add this to the total for that sale because I kept most of those tools. But I suppose we could. By the way, that was a great buy. I bought a giant metal cobalt toolbox. It was big and it was blue. And it had tons of tools in it, and I paid five bucks for it. So I'm really happy to have that and use that stuff. So that's an added benefit for going out there and doing some garage sales. I rarely, rarely buy anything that I think I usually can find at a garage sale. Matter of fact, I think that was one of them. You might be a reseller ifs uh, on the video that we put out over there on Commonwealth Flipper. By the way, if you haven't seen You Might Be a Reseller If, uh, I think it's You Might Be a Reseller or something like that. I think that's what we title it. It's over on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. Maybe I can link it. My wife is calling from upstairs. She must think I'm out in the shed. We need an intercom or something. <laughs> hey. Hello? What are you doing? I'm making a video. You're on the video. Oh, you want to say hi? Shut up. <laughs> you want food? Yes, I'm starving. Cool, I'm coming. Right. Bye. Bye. Who came in here? What do you need that for? Knit pom poms. We'll see. Actually, I'll just take this, please. It's okay. I won't use all of it, though. Hey, we have uh, three sales going out to a viewer, and I think it's Amy. And Amy, if you said, I think I remember reading a message a day or two ago that you sent right when you bought these on the regular messaging system. I don't see one here, but Amy, we do appreciate the purchases. This was $9.99 plus shipping, and it's in really, really good condition. I don't remember getting it. Must have been a goodwill buy from Blue Ridge Mama is my guess. I don't know that she would have paid full price for something she thought she could sell for $10 plus shipping. So it might have been on the 50% off day, you know, after the fourth week here at our Goodwill. I'm sure it's like this at most places. The fourth week something's been out, it, it goes down to 50% off based on the color of the tag. So I'm going to say she paid two bucks for it, sold it for 10 So that's what, that's what I'm going to say. Avengers 
Marvel. It's in great shape, size medium, Amy, so you should enjoy it. And you bought two more things as well. These two, Amy bought as well. This one I talked about the other day. I thought this was funny on the back. You could buy a hat from them, $10 plus $3 shipping and handling. <laughs> shipping was cheaper back then, I guess, because that's shipping and handling. But, you know, still we can get a hat out in first class. I wish I had that hat. Probably could sell it. All right, and Southern Fried Company, she bought this sticker as well. I bought a bag full of these type of stickers. I think there's like 15 of this particular pig, and we're selling them off. These two combined, I don't have the individual ones right here, $14.94, free shipping. So this will go in the package with the other one. These are free shipping. So all in here for a little, right around 30 bucks, I think, for the shirt and the two stickers. We hope you enjoy the stickers. I think this one's cool. I'm kind of sad to see it go. And Amy, we do appreciate it. I think we have six more of the pig, I think. All right, I think we have a homeschool hustler sale out there in the Commonwealth cabin. And that is going to wrap it up for today. And thank you, as always, for joining us. Good luck out there picking and good luck out there selling things on eBay. We hope you're making a bunch of money. And more importantly, we hope you're having fun. That's why we do it. You know, I wouldn't do it if there was no money involved in it. But I keep doing it because I love to do it and because there's fun in it. So thank you all so much and we'll see you next time. All right, it's a little chilly in here today, isn't it, Reagan? All right, we have a... What is that thing? Do you even know what that is? I know what that is. No, I think Mama listed that. Did she take the pictures for it too? Yeah, I, I think she did. The thing kept falling down, so I had to hold it up for her. That's right. She actually does that, right? And she lets that, when I'm talking to her about eBay or YouTube or something, she just drops her head like that, like, like that. Like she's falling asleep on me. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm tired of hearing of it. <laughs> All right. So it's over for nineteen ninety five plus shipping. And it is, oh, I think it's gunned. Can you see that tag on that and check the tag? Made in Korea. So it's Land, yeah, it's... land Before Time's kind of old. Yeah, it is gunned. You see those tags right there? You usually pick them up and they're pretty good. So anyway, this guy's got a uh, pretty limp head right there, I guess, doesn't he? Anyway, $19.95 plus shipping. I don't think a viewer bought it. Thanks so much. And that brings our Mount Plushmore total to $1,615 so far. So what a great sale. That's one of my favorites of all time. I just want to show you a pirate ship is definitely worth checking out if you don't do it you need to start doing it there's the difference right there same exact item same exact specs right there twenty three dollars and seventy eight cents pirate ship nineteen dollars and twenty four cents